Details on Calvin and Taylor's latest date. And is Selena talking about Justin? Um, well, Justin is definitely talking about Selena. If you want to know what this is all about, this is DHR. <laughs> Woohoo! It's Friday, you guys! <laughs> TGIF! You are back at DHR. I'm Dana Ward, hanging out with my girl Jocelyn Davis. Oh, and it is Good Friday, but there is still a lot going down in Hollywood, mm. and you've got some scoopage to kick us off with. Let's do it. OMG, you guys, Calvin Harris and Taylor Swift were spotted in West Hollywood holding hands. So it's official, they are dating. Um, they went to support their girls. I am at a concert at the Troubadour and apparently they were sitting in a VIP private area. Calvin had his arms around Taylor and she was sitting on his lap. Oh my god! They were super cute and I don't know if you noticed but in the photos they're totally matchy matchy which signifies true love mm -hmm. um, yeah. in my book. Yes. If you match your partner. Mm -hmm. um, so it's official guys. Um, they came together, they left together. Bam! So cute. I ship it. Me too. They were totally out and about together, and now we're at the out and about segment. Weird. Talking all about Justin Bieber. He's digging deep. He these is. Days. He is. So, yesterday, he stopped by the Ryan Seacrest show here in Los Angeles to announce that he is back. He is back in the music game. He's going to be performing at Ooh. Wango Tango. But, Ryan Seacrest, sir, shout out to you. You are the OG for asking the question that believers, that selenators, that everyone in the world wants to know. Will Justin be putting a song on his album in response to the heart wants what it wants? Check it out. No. no Will no, there be? Because no, no, no. um, you're not done yet. I think yet. a lot of my inspiration comes from her. Comes from that. Yeah. Because I mean, that was a, obviously an emotional. It was a long relationship. Yeah, a real and relationship that created heartbreak and created um, happiness and a lot of different emotions that I wanted to write about. So and that's on this album. Yeah, there's a lot of that on this album. So there you have it. We got yes. our answer. There will be a ton of Selena Gomez inspired music, heartbreak, love, and more coming on the Beats next album. I mean, it's kind of expected, but I'm excited it's confirmed. Me too. Okay, guys, it is time for What's Trending, and we're kicking this off with Let's Move. Yes. This is Michelle Obama's initiative to really fight childhood obesity. It's the five-year anniversary, Crazy. believe it or not. And she stopped by The Tonight Show with Jimmy <laughs> Fallon, and they got their dance on. It's the evolution of mom dancing, part two. <laughs> Michelle Obama is a pretty good dancer. <laughs> so do I. I think she is better than mom dancing, but I love these videos. Way better, and I love how they poked fun at each other, by the way. Um, in other <laughs> fun news, Selena Gomez hit Instagram. She was a little bored, so she decided to share this with us. Still in Miami. Most of these girls are too messy. I gotta do some reflecting. I gotta find me one out here. Doing a little rapping to Drake's song Preach, mm -hmm. and um, she's a pretty good rapper, I gotta say. She's real good. And did you notice the lyrics, by the way? Tell me more. Um, I'm wondering if maybe she's referencing Justin Bieber. She says, Still in Miami, most of these girls are too messy. I gotta do some reflecting, gotta find me one. Or maybe it's just a really popular song, which is where my vote's going to sit. And since it's Friday, it's Flashback Friday, y'all. Yes. Full House might fingers crossed, be coming out with a 13-episode spinoff called Fuller House, and it will follow DJ Tanner and Kimmy Gibbler, and um, the three main dads might be back, and that's really all we know. What do you think? Well, I think that if this does not happen, I'm going to be fully devastated, and I do know for a fact that the actresses who played Kimmy Gibbler and DJ Tanner are still really close friends. They hang out all the time. Like IRL. So I could definitely see this happening, and I think fans would love it. I agree, and if it does happen, it's being said that Netflix wants to pick it up. So Perfect home. Tweet them. Let's make it happen. Yeah. All right, moving on to a huge story. I know it seems like just yesterday that Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart were the biggest stars and the biggest couple in 
the universe. Yeah. Um, they have broken up, and Robert Pattinson has moved on. They in just a, broke up, guys. <laughs> Robert Pattinson has officially moved on in a major way because he is engaged. This is actually true. Robert and his musician girlfriend, FKA Twigs, mm -hmm. have in fact decided to get married. T-Pain made the announcement on accident Oops. to Vulture on April Fool's Day. Tried to say this is an April Fool's joke, but Robert is now going on the record to say that he is about to make FKA Twigs an honest woman. So congratulations to Robert and at Mrs. FKA Twigs Pattinson. Okay, it's time for Clever Ed of the Week. Thank you guys so much for leaving comments. We really read them, we love them. Thank you for your support. First, we've got some shout outs. First of all, Clay Bryce, thanks for checking us out on Periscope, the What's new up, app. Clay? What's up? Follow us. Um, also, want to give a shout out to Jerry Smith. You rock. Um, you're not supposed to be on your phone right now, but thanks for watching Clever News. And Amelie Doss for saying DHR is literally the best thing ever. And thank you so much for supporting. And now it is time for Clever Ed of the Week. This was a tough choice. It but always is. This week, the Clever Ed of the Week goes to Sabira Mahmood, who Yay. says, I've been sick this whole day, had many sad moments happen today, but when I saw your guys' video, it's locked up my mood. Thank you for being you and so nice and helping people in a different way to be themselves and to be happy. We've both kind of been sick this week, so I'm so glad that we're, kind of, we're all in it together. Yes. And um, we love you guys. We love you. Thank you so much for all of your support. And always be who you are. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's it for DHR, but we have a couple questions first. Okay, first off, FKA Twigs, Robert Pattinson, getting married. Are you guys surprised at all? Or are you kind of like just pleasantly surprised if you yeah. are? And what's their shipper name? Ugh, I don't know. Ooh. Riggs? I like it. <laughs> let's think, let's, let's sleep on it. Yeah. Okay. And we want to know what do you think about Calvin and Taylor heading out in public together, supporting their girls, Hyam and holding hands and stuff. And looking like I twins and being gorgeous. I'm I obsessed. I this. Any other questions you got? Oh, I have so many questions. I don't know if we have time for What are you for, doing this but, uh, weekend? What are you doing this weekend? Happy holidays. Today's Good Friday. I hope the Easter Bunny hooks you up with a lot of candy and I maybe hope, some money. I hope Passover is great for you. Heck yeah. Have fun with your family, friends. Anyways, you guys have an awesome weekend. And now you guys can click right over here if you want to see the hilarious video starring the one and only Paul Blart back in action. Paul Blart Mall Cup. Two hits theaters on April 17th. Click right here yeah. and you guys have an awesome weekend. We'll see you next week. But before you go, click to the left to check out Justin Bieber dressed as who? Ozzy. Uh, doing a little <laughs> lip sync battle. Yeah, or you can click to the right if you want to check out Nick Jonas's brand new music video for Chase. You got me in Chase, Chase. for your love.